Hmm. It's been a good long time since our last asteroid movie. Doomsday seems refreshing now, oddly enough. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Adam McKay's new film, Don't Look Up. This is the guy who somehow did a massive turnaround from doing Will Ferrell movies like Talladega Nights and Step Brothers, and then did the big short, found himself in Vice. Now he's made Don't Look Up, which is his own kind of satire idea of what would happen if we found out that an asteroid was coming towards us and how a satirical version of our current day would react to it. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence are desperately trying to tell people what is actually going on. However, the ridiculous world of politics, identity crisis, and everything else gets in the way of what should actually matter. Hilarity as well as future terrifying insight kind of ensues. There are bits that definitely dip into a lot of current ideologies. Meryl Streep is pretty much a Trumpism. Jonah Hill is one of his sons, I assume. Obviously not Eric. And this film does have a decent amount of humor and comedy mixed in with the serious reality that it's got going on. There are also a lot of moments where it goes way over the top and I kind of think it leaves the realm of funny and just kind of goes into cringy. But I do like that it gets as close to a book series of mine as anything else has essentially. For those who want a book that actually kind of touches on the whole aspect of what the film is talking about but from a more realistic standpoint, read The Last Policeman. It's a cop in a town that essentially is kind of starting to slowly degrade in terms of societal norms because there is a comet that's going to hit the earth and there's nothing they can do about it. So this book series covers the idea of what would happen to society once we found out that we indeed had a limited amount of time. There are also some kind of murder investigations going on in the books too, and you won't really remember those so much. It's more so the societal study that you will enjoy, and that's the part that I enjoy, particularly from the first book. Don't Look Up has a little bit of those elements. You get it at the very beginning, and you kind of get it through some of the film, but it definitely does dip into that more satirical edge that Adam McKay is kind of known for. Now, the difference between films like they say the big short and vice and this one is that those films are based off of actual events that happen and they were able to weave comedy around them whereas this one is purely skeptical this is purely a fiction story there is a bit at the very beginning that talks about one of the defense uh, groups that the world has that actually has but then that just gets dropped it doesn't come back again i kind of was hoping that there would be a little bit more references to things that are actually in place for situations like these in our current day. In terms of the acting, I think Leo does a really great job at portraying the anxiety. So does Jennifer Lawrence. The idea that you've realized that your time, everyone's time, the entire planet, the entire existence of the Earth, both past, present, and future, has been determined to end by you from what you found, that does have a significant weight on you and I think those two portray it very well. In terms of the comedy edges, Meryl Streep's okay. I do like how she is quite dramatic and ridiculous. Jonah Hill, I'll, I'll be right up honest, is irritating to almost no end to me in this movie. He does a good job at playing that kind of character. The one that actually really got me was Mark Rolance. I think that's how you say his last name. It comes with this strange blend of Mark Zuckerberg's inability to be a human being and this Steve Jobs kind of egocentric businessman caricature. At first I actually thought he was quite funny with how creepy he comes across as well as just the general introduction of his character. But halfway through the movie you're gonna get to a point where you're like, all right, this is fucking stupid. And I understand that that's the point of the film. It is a satire. It is going into areas that normally probably wouldn't happen. I actually did enjoy the ending. Don't Look Up, I think, has some qualities to it. I did enjoy it. I thought some parts were funny. I did like the anxiety moments. But then I feel that there are elements where the satire just gets into cringe and it just can't really take itself seriously anymore even though it was already barely doing that as it was. But I think you should give it a watch. I think you'll enjoy it. You might get a little bit depressed as well. Oh well, that will come to the point. So in the end, I'm gonna give Don't Look Up a 4 out of 7. Think it's okay. Think it's enjoyable. Is it the best movie of the year? Is it the movie that we were all kind of given the opinion that it was going to be, especially from all the marketing that Netflix gave? No. But it's still alright. Anyways guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time.